guys are new to my channel. I'm currently at the beach. I'm staying in Rosemary Beach and we are just having such a great time, but it is sadly coming to the end. This will probably be the last vlog. I'll probably combine this vlog and tomorrow's vlog. Um, tomorrow's our last day and I'm really sad, but I'll definitely be back. If you guys haven't watched my other vlogs, go check them out. I'm going to do a house tour in one of the other vlogs. I haven't like edited anything yet, which is actually really nice. Like I really haven't worked at all which is not very normal for me um except for vlogging but i don't really feel like that's working like it's so fun and i feel like it's more for the memories for me to have later in life this morning i'm getting ready for brunch hopefully we can get um, a table at pescado i've never been there and it has like, really pretty views hopefully we can get outdoors i'm trying to manifest all this <laughs> because i know all of these restaurants have such long lines because um, they're just so popular and everyone raves about them. So I'm gonna just spruce up my hair. I told you guys I would do a little demo for you guys in my last vlog, not even last vlog, like vlogs ago, and I never did. So um, I wanted to show you guys my favorite dry shampoo. I I guess this would be considered dry shampoo. It's called the Playa Soft Volume Powder. And there was like tape on my thing because I did I lost the cap um, and I didn't want it to get everywhere in my suitcase. But I put it where you would put dry shampoo under like your, your top layer of your hair. Um, and then it literally works so well. Like I'm not even putting that much in my hair. And then you just do the same thing like dry shampoo. Kind of zhuzh it in. It is white but it disappears like very easily. So that's nice because... I feel like other white dry shampoos, you have to like literally like give your head an hour long massage to get the whiteness out. Um, but yeah, now my hair looks brand new. So that is a little trick that I love. And this is like day old hair. I curled it last night and I am doing a tutorial on TikTok. I'll link the TikTok below if I actually post it. I feel like there's so many TikToks that I like make and stuff that I never post for some reason. Um, TikTok is just a whole different other platform. But right now I'm gonna find some gold jewelry to wear. I have to show you guys this freaking thing. It's a game changer. This is called the necklet. Well, not this whole chain thing. OG beauty blogger style. But this thing right here is called a necklet and it goes up to three hooks. I wish they had more honestly because like I'm just extra like that. I like to wear more than three. But basically you hook um, all of your chains on the side and then you hook the other side on and this is just a magnet. And it's a really strong magnet too. Like it doesn't really come undone very easily. And this just helps to obviously have all your chains on one so you don't have to take them all off and put them all back on again because that is so annoying. And most necklaces I have, especially because I have like longer nails, it just is such a pain. This is literally so easy to put on. Just make the magnetics click together and there you go. Little layered thing. I already had this one necklace on. I will link all these necklaces down below. Um, because I get a lot of questions on my gold jewelry. I got this one from Amazon, this one from Etsy, my stink chain, this one is from Love AJ, and then this one is actually from Necklet, um, the brand that has that little tool that I showed you. And then these are Majuri and Etsy. So all gold jewelry out. I think I'm gonna change my earrings so. though. Because I feel like those are like everyday ones and I want something a little extra. Oh, and then I also have these super cute bracelets that I got from Shop Red Dress Boutique. Let's see. They're kind of just like a wooden bead thing, but I thought they were like really beachy and cute. So I'm going to wear that today because I keep forgetting to wear them. It's so funny because I used to hate gold jewelry. I would only wear silver, but then it became trendy and I obviously hopped on the train. So here I am, <laughs> all gold jewelry, nothing else. These hoops are from Gorjana, Goriana. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but that is the fit. Well, not the fit, okay, let me show you guys my fit now. This bodysuit is from Misguided, and then these pants, these pants, guys, these are from Amazon, and they are so fun. I'm like obsessed with the, what is this, 
freaking style even called like like work pan kind of thing but these are a lot more flowy at the end they make you look so cinched at the waist because they're like hitting at the perfect angle and they just they're so flattering so i'll have these linked down below um one of my best amazon finds honestly and they come in so many different colors like so many probably like 15 or more so check that out and i think we're gonna head out to brunch we are gonna take the bike so that means i'm gonna leave this camera at home and just take my big camera um but i want to get a couple of pictures before we head to brunch We just got to Pescado and we have the perfect view of just like the ocean and Rosemary Beach. It's so pretty up here. Hopefully the food is good. Hopefully it blows us away because we have had not the best luck with food. Just ordered and Ryan added a croissant because we just watched Emily in Paris. We're like obsessed with saying croissant. I got chicken and waffles because it was the easiest to go to. I'm we'll trusting you. Uh, yeah, it did sound good. interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Hey everyone, welcome to the House of Mermaids. I'm about to show you guys around this four bed, four and a half bath getaway on 30A. Let's do it. First, we're starting out here on the patio. This swing right here is a new addition and probably one of my favorites. It is perfect from working from home while getting that outdoor feel. As you enter the house, you'll notice a bright and airy theme. All of the furniture is super comfortable and this whole space is great for entertaining friends and family. One of my favorite parts about this house is the kitchen. It has this huge granite countertop. We have modern appliances and a gas range for those nights that you wanna cook at home. This fridge is huge, so you can stock up on all your favorite beach snacks and drinks, of course. And the best part is that we have our own little ice machine. So it is perfect for filling up your cooler before you head to the beach or those cocktail nights. Over here, we have a spacious dining room table, perfect for the holidays if you guys are here during that time. Right over here, we have our guest bathroom, and then this door leads us to our stacked washer and dryer, so you don't have to overpack. On the first floor, we have our master bedroom. Let's go take a look. Hidden behind this barn door is the master bathroom. Now we're gonna check out the second floor. Let's go take a look. We have three bedrooms on the second floor. Let's head into the first one. Each bedroom has their own private bathroom and a full-size closet. As you'll see throughout the house, each bedroom has its own unique artwork and personal style. One of my favorite bedrooms in this house has to be this one because it has an outdoor shower. Nestled on 30A between Alice Beach and Dustin, the House of Mermaids includes private beach access, complimentary chair service, bike rentals, and a golf cart to explore the area. This house is just steps away from the community pool, which is a great place to take a night swim, and then head to our personal fire pit for some s'mores. Thanks for watching this house tour. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to contact us, and we hope you enjoy your stay at the House of Mermaids. Turned on.
So Ryan told me to stop and he was like, look back at the sign. And I was like, I literally can't turn my head, but I looked back anyways. And do you see what the sign says? Can you zoom in? Not sure if y'all watch Desperate Housewives, but that's like the lane that they live on. It's like iconic. And we're in the midst of finishing Desperate Housewives. We're on like season seven out of eight. It's taken us like so long. We started it um, at the beginning of quarantine and we still haven't finished it. But how freaking cute is that? Ryan's making us some sandwiches and we're gonna head to the beach. I just posted on my photo account about full minis. I feel like I always am so last minute with mini sessions. But if you guys are in the Austin area, I'm doing them this coming Sunday. They are 20 minute sessions and um, it's just like for a lower price. And I'm also doing it for the holidays. So keep your eyes out for that. Um, you guys can follow me on my photo account, Sonali Productions. And I'll just be like updating that when the time comes. But yeah, I'm doing that this Sunday. I've been pretty good about updating my like to know it which is just like a platform where all of your like favorite influencers and bloggers post their outfits and like exactly where they got everything. So I've been pretty good about that, um, posting about all my outfits every day this week. So if you guys are interested and if I don't end up linking uh, things in the vlog, check out my like to know it profile and go follow me on there because I'm gonna stay updating that shit <laughs> when I get back, although I'm not taking as many pictures when I get back home. I thought today was gonna be like the hottest day, but it ended up not being, I mean, it's still gonna be hot. What'd you say? It's not even noon. Yeah, it's not even noon, so I guess there's still time for it to be hot, but I feel like this house is freezing half the time, so I'm just like, I don't wanna go swimming when I'm freezing in this house. But the community pool is heated, so I really wanna go swimming in that more than the ocean today, because, the ocean is just like so cold and I feel like I was gonna regret not swimming in the ocean. I wouldn't have felt like I actually went to the beach if I did not swim. So I suffered through it, but it wasn't really enjoyable. So that's why I wanna go to the pool today. <laughs> Publix cookies for the win. Pringles, ready to go. Ryan said, hurry, grab your freaking camera. We're gonna go take your picture and get it over with. So I sprinted out the door and I'm vlogging on my big camera. I have been wanting to get this new lens that's like a wider angle. The lens that I want doesn't have the lowest aperture, which is like what I like, but it does have a wide angle, so I don't know. and I'm just blow drying my hair with my Revlon one step hair dryer or whatever it's called um, and I thought I would give you guys a quick tutorial I'm not doing it very precisely but I thought I would just talk about it while I have it here um, so basically this is a hairbrush drying tool I have not tried the Dyson so I'm not sure if it's comparable but it's kind of like a dupe and it's literally like 40 bucks which is insane compared to like I'm pretty sure the Dyson's like $500 or something. So when I saw this on TikTok, I was like, okay, I'm gonna try it out. And it's funny because I made a TikTok about it and it literally went viral. So I thought I would do a little tutorial since it apparently is very interesting to everyone. I'm just lightly drying my bottom pieces, but the top pieces are really where it's going to matter. And like I said, this really isn't precise at all. So maybe I'll do a more precise tutorial when I get back home. There is like a cool low and high setting so what i do is i take it like this much of my hair and i put it on high i go against the hair and then maybe again and i do the ends too so i dry pretty much everything but then on the third time i go in and kind of like curl it around and then hold the bottom on the brush like a round brush and just kind of keep twirling it. And then sometimes if I'm feeling fancy, I'll actually put it on the cool setting so that it can like cool the curl and set the curl while it's on the brush. And then 
it will have like a little curl at the end. So that's how I do it. I totally forgot to put my blow dry spray in my hair. This is the Kenra blow dry spray advanced dry thermal protection and it is supposed to help your hair just blow dry a lot faster. I don't know how but it does and also protect your hair and I've been using it since college and it's really really good. You can find it at Ulta, Amazon, all that stuff. I'll have that link down below too. So for the top, you want to have maximum volume. So I try to blow dry all of the pieces towards my face and kind of like in an upwards motion. And I'll do the same thing, curl it at the end. And I'll definitely make sure this is dry all the way through because I want these pieces to hold especially. So the front pieces are probably the most important part and you can get like a little bit more than just your bangs. You're going to brush them both together and then you're going to take the brush, put it under it and then just pull front and then curl at the bottom. so efficient I feel like the best part about this freaking brush is that like your arms don't get sore because you're not holding a freaking blow dryer and um, what's called a round brush you're just holding this and it's so easy so simple um, my hair is naturally wavy to straight so I can't really speak on if it works for curly hair people so comment down below do you have curly hair? Have you used this? Did it work? Um, and in general, if you have used it and what your experience is, because I got a lot of comments on my TikTok that it damages your hair. Honestly, I barely wash my hair once a week, so I don't even use it every time I um, wash my hair because I usually just air dry it. But when you're on vacation, especially, I feel like it's so helpful because like I said, it's just so fast. So this is how you get to my blowout and kind of those like fake curtain bang things. So yeah, it's our last night and we're gonna go to the hub, which is just kind of like an area that has this really cute green space and a lot of like eateries around it. It's not just like one restaurant, um, but I'll show you my outfit of the night. It's not anything too crazy. I feel like these last two nights I was going a little more cash. My slouchy tee is from Shop Red Dress and it's cool because it has like this distressing stuff. And then my cardigan, which is the best cardigan in the freaking world, is from Abercrom Ab Abercrombie. I feel like I always say it weird because I'm like thinking too hard about it. Abercrombie, I don't know. And then these jeans are from Abercrombie as well. They are the same jeans that I wore this morning. So I think you guys already saw those. the hub. 
club and we took a detour through Alice Beach in the night and it was so pretty. Everyone had their little fire lantern things. Uh, on uh, the gas. Gas lanterns, yeah. They're so pretty. My dream house would have those just all over the front of the house. Okay, probably not all over, that's a little excessive, but definitely like two outside. That would be so pretty. So we're taking the golf cart to get some Reese's cups after this? Really? Because it's vacation and I only got to have one <laughs> pack of king-sized ones. If you don't know, now you know Ryan's like was addicted to Reese's. Reese's. I say Reese's. Because it sounds better, Reese's Pieces. No, it's pieces. I know. <laughs> I wonder if I got tan, like my face, because I was trying to cover it. And I was also thinking it'd be nice to have like a tan now because we're about to get real pale. Is it like really cold in Austin yet? Or just like 80s? 86. What was your favorite part about our trip? Probably just riding those bikes around to Alice Beach in the mornings and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our morning bike rides. I've been waking up at like 6.30, 6.45 every day. And Florida is on the same time zone as Austin. No, this part of Florida is. Oh, sorry. The Panhandle is um, the same time zone as Austin. So hopefully I go back home and start waking up earlier because that would be really nice. Just like, I don't know, get a little bit of work done for my stuff before I start my part-time job. But it's also just going to be so hard to get back into work after we had so many days off, you know? We're gonna end the vlog here. We're pretty sleepy and we're gonna get the house all ready so we can leave early in the morning. Not early, but I think our flight's at like 12. So we should probably get to the airport by like 11-ish. And I wanna do one last sunrise on the beach. So we're gonna wake up for that. I did make two other vlogs, so go check them out. And I'll also have the VRBO link to our beach house down in the description if you guys are interested in renting it out. It's perfect for like bachelorette parties or just like family reunions or whatever this house sleeps 10 it's like right next to the community pool steps from the beach maybe not steps but you take a golf cart i mean you guys have seen it and it's really convenient and easy so check it out links down below and i will see y'all in my next video bye